And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Talia Lissandra. We're going to have brand new Talia. It's not really brand new, but it's got plus one, plus one now after patch 2.9. It's going to be our first deck after patch 2.9. We're going to be playing Talia Lissandra and then Malphite Renekton. And then we're going to be checking out the brand new labs, the Lab of Legends, the upgrades they've had to it. And we're going to take Fizz all the way from normal to Legendary. We'll probably split that into like two videos. It'll be a longer one. Uh, to go through all that but first tomorrow is going to be our champion spotlight day for the week and so as y'all know we're gonna have to determine who's going to be our champion that we will spotlight that we will play four decks built around there are 61 champions in the game so we're gonna do our random number generator see which one we got let's see as y'all can see it click here 41 all right champion 41 let's see okay uh start from the beginning Okay, we're gonna just count by fours down, uh, down this column. So we have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. And so the very next champion, Kindred is 41. All right, Kindred's a sweet champion, okay. So we're gonna build different Kindred decks uh, tomorrow and um, we'll see how we do with Kindred. That's awesome. All right, so this is our fifth champion that we're going to do. So we did Anivia first, then Garen, then Karma, then Jinx, and Jinx went the best so far, and now we're going to do Kindred. Okay, but here we are for our first deck, uh, Talia Lissandra. So we're going to be playing like a, a Turbo Thrall style deck, and I took the uh, uh, Turbo Thralls deck that we've played a couple of times and done well with and kind of edited it to add in Talia, because as you all know, I had... Um, Trundle as my other champion to go along with Lissandra. So we're going to try it with Talia. We're, of course, playing Draclorn Inquisitor and Preservationist and Talia. I know that's a lot of five mana units, but they're all so important for our deck and so good that we're going to be having them all in here. You can kind of think of it as like a few fives and some sixes and some sevens. You know, like I know they all sit on the same spot of the curve, but they're, they're just too vital for our strategy. So we're playing them all. Um, I'm playing just two clock hands um trimmed trimmed a little bit on the, the clock hand and the siphoning strike we had three and two of those um to be able to get in some merciless hunters i think we should probably just be playing merciless hunter right like this card's just amazing so this will help give us a little bit of interaction also playing one ravine one ice shard instead of just two ravines i think this is a very good ice shard metagame i wanted something else to have early on so we got that in here Besides that, it's basically this, the rest of it's basically the same. So let's go and try it out. Talia Lissandra. Go play five games in ranked. You know, Whirling Death or anything else? No, all right. So we got Watcher combo. So that means we're going to have to uh, go real fast. So that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. We'll keep one Hunter. Good round three attacker. We got Oompa. Supposed to help us out. All right, so we did not find our, our thralls, right? Like this deck, you really want to find your thralls. Gonna find a gift for Renekton. But right instead, we're going to be looking for some gifts for Renekton. No frozen thralls. No, I haven't really liked Promising Future, to be honest. And, you know, like, we, we had no Promising Futures in the other deck, and I didn't really want to put it in here. It is a little bit better with Talia, because Talia can copy it, then you get the times four. But, okay, there's something, like, really laggy about the game right now. Has anybody else know, noticed that, like, theirs has been laggy since this patch update that just happened? It's like, even, like, the draws and everything are kind of laggy. Uh, but anyway... Because the first, like, you need to play Promising Future early, but you have to be playing defense early so you don't die. And so I just don't feel like, like, trying to stay alive and yet also play Promising Future is a difficult proposition, in my opinion. FPS got reset, put it back to 60+. plus. Okay, so let's see, that's where... Run! 
Okay, yeah, that's better. And they're setting up Avalanche. Or that thing. I guess the Inquisitor is going to take some damage, but I need to get Frozen Thrall out here. And then we'll advance it like three rounds, five rounds, and then copy it. King of Trolls coming through. You were never fit to lead her army. I think I just skip. Yeah, I guess we just skip. This is really unfortunate drawing two avalanches and an ice shard for this matchup that there none of them matter. Oh right, I, I forgot about the Draculorn ability. I did forget about the Draculorn ability. Not gonna lie. Oh, I did forget about that. I forgot that it was gonna pop. You know, I was I was waiting for it to go down to one, and then I was gonna you know I was gonna copy it here at two. I I forgot about the Draculorn ability. Sorry about that. Guess it had been a minute. Gotta find a gift for an actin. right, Arda? Gross. It's tough to beat this deck when they have Ruination. The cloud looms on the horizon. That's just not a card I really play around in this matchup because um, you don't usually have the um, the ability to. Yeah, clock hand's a good draw. Embrace the I can get the 8 8 immediately, or I can try to copy it first. What was given can be taken away just as easily. Bow to your king. Well, of course, advance at four rounds. And then, yeah, we probably have to copy it. Oh, I can't avalanche, so I guess that's not anything to think about. I am not allowed to, because you're required to pay four mana for that, and I have three. Ages pass, yet I remain. You will do as I command. One more mana, and we could Talia and Preservationist. Point the way, and I'll make the way. Yeah, if I just didn't use that time in a bottle before, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I messed up that earlier for sure with the Draclorn. First game of the day. I'll put it on that, but yeah, I messed that up for sure earlier. And then they had the Ruination that just really, really punished me for how I played. You got a problem? Brilliant. So really right here, we, I want to draw one of my champions so that if they, you know, attack with Watcher next round, um, I'm able to put a champion back on top. Drew so many of our stupid avalanches and ice shards. 
we basically have five of those cards in our deck, and we drew three of them. You know, three Avalanche, one Ice Shard, one Blighter Ravine. Another matron in hand. I just can't. I, I really want to avalanche. I really want to kill Lizandra, but I guess I just can't. You will do as I command. So now they just play that attack and they win. Alright, own one. Won the war. Okay, so we had a good learning game right there. I messed up with the Draclorn, and also my opponent had Ruination. We gotta find our Frozen Thrall. No Frozen Thrall. Early. Alright, we, we fixed some sound settings, hopefully. Is this is the music still way too like the the game board music way too soft compared to the sound effects? Yeah. I think these are supposed to be like down here, I think. Okay, so I need to play Lissandra, but also Merciless Hunter looks very good here. I'm go Merciless Hunter. Find a gift for an right, Arda? I have a lot of respect for Dragon Shell. That keeps them from drawing a card, and also keeps the Shivana, you know, like, hurts the Shivana level up. Doesn't give them the fury, and keeps them from drawing a card. Prepare All of that together. Ages past, I I guess I could just go time in a bottle, Talia, and then next turn Draclorn. Let's get this clock hand. Yeah, I want to clock in. Keep your eyes on the horizon and your feet on the ground. Jarvin? Oh, I guess they have Jarvin. Well, that was an awesome turn. But Draclorn's not too bad either. But they wiped out two champions. Jarwin's at two out of four. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Our people will accept you. I'll see to that. <laughs> they have both their champions, and yet I'm, I'm gonna kill the screeching dragon. <laughs> see, I mean that's why we played the siphoning strike, right? Like siphoning, like. It's just kind of the card that, it's not amazing or anything, but just kind of got to play it. There's just no other removal. And sometimes you just got to have removal.
Yeah, I... Okay, I kind of want to just get another one of these 8-8s for blocking purposes and everything. Right here. I know I could have tried to set up, you know, I was, you know, like, because if they, like, attacked out and everything. I, I could have set up trying to get, you know, another 8-8 there with that Frozen Thrall. But I'm happy with this. Away with you. This is your end. Come face me. I I didn't go with the greedy line. This I went with the end. safe line. Just getting that out. And the opponent concedes. GG. Frozen thralls. One on one. Okay, first time playing against Aurelia Azir with the new nerfs. How um, the four and five mana cards were nerfed. First time checking it out. Okay, we're probably going to need to keep Curator for a blocker. But we need to find Frozen Thrall. Please, Frozen Thrall. Frozen Thrall. No, didn't get it. Love the avalanche. Love the avalanche. Got a gift for Renekton. Okay, cool. That's a good draw. There's Frozen Thrall. Let's go. Boom. Say this went pretty well for us so far. Hmm. Alright. We got some ribbon dances. Let's see. I think I just get this in play. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just get another Frozen Thrall going. So if you've leveled a champion... Okay, so the leveled up champion does not need to be in play. It's just if you've leveled a champion at all, then your allies have plus two, plus zero. This card is... Easier to hush than the other five mana cards. They top decked another Azir. Just really like their chance of leveling a champion. Okay. So we're going to have... We have six here. Curator, Curator, Time in a Bottle, six. I mean... Hmm. I may need to... Uh, I guess, do we just take the 7? Or 15? Yeah, two cards left. What are those going to be? I'm thinking like Curator here, Time in a Bottle here, Round End. We pop both of these, Attack for 16. That's not a very good time. Now we will right. Okay, so I can just do this. Oh, let's just go like this. Because we we can kill the voice of the risen, and then their things don't get the plus two plus zero anymore. Oh, they had that, so that's why they weren't scared. That was the best card to have for sure. But like the voice of the risen needs to attack last. Right, like that, that was a, a, a poor place to put the attack for the Voice of the Risen. Next round, three, six, seven. We have seven mana. All right, yeah, we can just get you in play. Name echoes 
you every rock, every canyon. Still dead, just to an open attack, aren't I? Yeah, if they open attack, I die. I didn't need to kill that Azir. Yeah, I'm still dead to that too. Good top deck. Man, it was it was whenever they drew that Azir, right? That was the that was just the perfect draw. Like after that, the voice of the risen. We'd already killed the one Azir with that um, ice shard. It was looking good, but they drew that other Azir at the absolute perfect time. They don't draw the Azir that turn. They draw anything else in their deck. We're gonna win that game. But they drew the Azir, which turned on the voice of the risen, which you know then it was done. Or if if um you know if they don't have that plus three plus one, so their voice of the risen dies there in combat, I think we win that game also. Okay, play against another aggro deck. See if we can stay alive this time. Love the avalanche. We actually have round one frozen thrall for the first time, four games. First time us having that. So that's that's a big plus. We actually have round one frozen thrall this time. That's a big plus. Gotta hope they're greedy. Play two mana, two two. The party oh, no, three three. Let's do this. Not a bad curve though. Having the attack token round one, round three with one drop house fighter Draven. Not too bad. Time to bury the world in ice. Plans within plans. We're not completely dead yet. We're gonna have some good attackers the next couple of rounds. Draclorn is gonna be big. I'm going Dra Draclorn this round. Next round, we're going to go, like, Ravine. And I couldn't, like, Ravine, Pop Ravine immediately. I guess I don't really need to Ravine, Pop Ravine immediately. Really hoping they don't have vision. Alright, that's somebody casting vision. I guess I save... Okay, so if I block here, they cast Vision. Yeah, I mean, I guess... Yeah. Yeah, we just do it. Because I save three life anyway, right? Like, it's not like... If I don't block, we take six. If, if I block and they play Vision, we take six. It's like if they play double Vision... That card's a problem. This card's a problem. Down. 
All right, so next round, we can play the Lissandra. Lissandra will give our Nexus Toph. We're at eight. Not exactly sure how I'm dealing with this Jinx right now. But they kind of have to kill me now, right? Like, these... These Frozen Thralls are going to kill them. So can they deal with the Frozen Thralls or kill me? Hopefully not. Oh. Having all the Get excited is not good. Yeah, it's the Nexus damage cards that I'm worried about, so them having just those multiple Get excited at the Nexus. I would have liked to have been at 11 instead. Now we're about to go down to 2. I was like the best card to see. Because that lets them empty their hand, get the rocket, and they still have the one mana left. Or the rocket. So if they attack, they lose. If they attack with Jinx, they lose. Love it. No, attack with Jinx. Darn. Now it's a party. So now it's the cold creeps in. You know, do they do they just draw get excited? If they draw get excited, I lose. If they didn't, I win. Go to damage. They just drew a third get excited. Man, we have had some poor luck here. The only possible way we could lose that is them having 11 direct Nexus damage the last couple of turns, and they did. With three Get excited and the Super Mega Death Rocket. We are two top decks away from three and one, and and honestly, maybe you know if I the, the first game was kind of like a warm-up game, I, I made some mistakes, you know, like that. We are really not very far away from being four and zero. Oh. The Azir top deck, if if it's just anything else that turn, you know, even Azir the next turn, I think we're winning that game. And then obviously that get excited top deck, and um, you know, then our first one, I played a little rough, but it was still close. But yeah, we're really not far away from 4-0 <laughs> with our 1-3 deck right now. Okay, so this one, obviously, um, our hand is horrendous. That's going to happen sometimes. Sometimes you just mulligan all your cards and your hand's horrendous. Um, good looking hand for the opponent. Their hand's looking pretty good. Okay, hand is starting to look better. Good Merciless Hunter draw. Which we have to play here. So I'm setting up... We just have to play it, because otherwise we're just never going to play it, right? Because we already have all the other things for the other rounds. Right, we, we just have to. Setting up another 3-2 challenger to take it down.
sweet. I love getting Sharp Sight out of their hand. Probably that, that Merciless Hunter is going to die anyway to the Serpent. Yeah, Sharp Sight is such a great card. There's, They should not be playing Sharp Sight right there. But I will take it. So why Talia? Because like if I preservationist and advance it, then it's gone. And I don't get to copy it anymore. So I kinda had to copy it first before it would go away. All the celestial cards. She sees all. Kaniyaro, thanks for the donation deck. You got a Talia Malphite deck for a meme tier deck. Cool. That's not too bad. Again, Concerted Strike, amazing card. Concerted Strike can take down like these 80th and stuff. I'm I'm happy to get that out of their hand. Okay, let's see. Unfortunately, really in Souls unbeatable though. What is this about? Oh really? Oh come on, really? This is the new Invoke an animation? What? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> that that can't be the new Invoke animation, right? Just take up, you know, another ten seconds. That can't be a thing. Not that far off. You abject failure. From getting Watcher in play. So basically, I, I do need to clear up space. But of course, a really Soul is going to level up. And yeah, like this, this is 26 anyway. Like it was going to be leveling up before. If I succumb to the cold, it keeps the soul from leveling up. But I don't get that 8-8, which I need, and I don't have the mana now to play Preservationist right here, which I also want. Inspiration, that card is so good. So that makes Watcher cost zero. No, I don't have any donation decks for Kindred right now. For tomorrow. 
if it if i don't do donation decks that much on on champion spotlight day if if i am going to do it it's got to be one that that's very competitive right because that's that's the thing about champion spotlight days we try to make very competitive decks with different regions um but i, I don't want to play like you know like meme tier decks or anything i want to try to build you know that that's what we try to do with the spotlight is to to spotlight competitive builds <laughs> So Equinox, I can't really stop. You know, like, they're not going to spend all their mana for an Equinox. Okay. The constellations bow to me. Let's see what happens. We got a Watcher attack. Um, so Kindred Lux or Kindred Go Hard, I guess whichever would be more. Which one would I prefer? Whichever is the most competitive. You must be very important. Yeah, of course we would have loved to see Judgment because we have this come to the cold. Okay, cards left zero. I was like, why do they <laughs> why do they have a deck still? But it was because of the, the other thing that happened there. Alright. Um Alright, so if I succumb to Cold the Radiant Guardian. I mean I don't really have to, right? Like what's so what's their plan of staying alive? Because they can't play an early and soul champion spell, right? Like how do they even stay alive? Multiple Zoe's? But Yeah, I guess multiple Zoe's. Yeah. They can win with Living Legends. Living Legends could allow them to play Aurelian Soul. Skies Descend. The ice is I think I'm just going to do this and make them spend more mana. Oh, that doesn't even kill them anyway. There, that... Oh, that only puts them to one. <laughs> Still, make them spend more mana. I guess they don't have to, though, because they go down to one. Maybe worried about another Ice Shard. All right, they're at one. There we go. Remember, their celestial cards cost zero, so they have like you know the the celestial obliterates the six or nine or the nine mana spell. They can still do that, like that, which is why I wanted to wait on the blighter ravine. Draw, you can't draw. Nothing to draw. And there we go. I guess blighter ravine kills them first. Before they lose from the Watcher. GG's. <laughs> Why are they still playing? Maybe they had, you know, they could have the, uh, you know, play a certain amount of cards. For, you know, quest. Play however many cards. Summon units. I don't know. Alright, so we ended up only 2 and 3 with the Talia Lissandra deck. But we were, <laughs> I mean, the deck felt pretty good. To be honest, we were honestly very close to going 5-0, and oh, even though it was just a 2-3. and three. We only had Frozen Thrall round one in one of the five games. You know, the most important card to have in your opener, this Frozen Thrall. We only had it one time in the five games. But still, with our three losses, two of them, we were one top deck away from winning those games. And the other one was one that uh, the very first game where... Um, I didn't play the best, and we got ruinationed and things like that, and it was still pretty close. Uh, so yeah, I honestly like this list. I, I think that this list looks pretty good for a Talia Lissandra deck, and I I would be pretty confident in you know playing this and winning three out of five consistently. 
I, I definitely would. Um, yeah, like I, I could see just playing this and ranking up with this deck, honestly. These Frozen Thralls are, are no joke. Like a whole bunch of 8-8s eight are no joke. And I honestly like I like this list. I like playing three Draklorn, three Preservationist. And, you know, now we got the three Talia in here. I think that, that these cards are pretty underrated. You know, a lot of people play like two or two or stuff like that. But I think these cards are like what you need to win with this strategy. And I don't really like the Promising Future. I, I think that you, you just got to keep affecting the board and, and things like that. And then use like these, um, you know, use your five drops to get your eight eights out and in play and stuff and, and spending time to spend like four spell mana on on a promising future is is kind of tough it's, it's hard to do um you know i could be wrong about that you know maybe maybe it really is worth it but i've you know like i just haven't i haven't missed it and the clock hand is awesome and yeah the clock hand is a summon ability so if you um ancient hourglass your clock hand you do get to get that back and you get you know you get to get your um two eight eight cards again or your two zero mana cards again all right, but that's going to be it here for Talia Lissandra. Good showing. I know only two and three, but still a, an impressive showing with the deck. And uh, we did lose some close ones, um, you know, to some, uh, but that happens. That's going to be it here for Talia Lissandra. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. I always appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.